but for Northwest Minnesota, it's different. It's not different from where I grew up in the South, but it's different for Northwest Minnesota. And so in terms of having like a high rate of poverty and, um, you know, sort of these challenges of being closed off, um, in terms of the response to the shooting, um, was it a, was it a very internal? Were there outside resources brought in sort of kind of in that immediate, let's say the first few days or weeks, what did that kind of look like? The first bit was, um, so they were because one good thing, because they were closed, they were able to keep the media off. They could shut, uh, there's just a few entrances into the, you know, roads that go through the reservation. Um, so they were able to block those off in the immediate. So that was good. Uh, the down part of it is they, um, handled it themselves. Um, we did have, um, let's see, I can remember, this was on a Monday on Wednesday, we all met at the elementary school. I had some issues with that personally. Um, but then in talking with my students, they felt different. Um, our, um, well, I'm just gonna be honest. Oh yeah. Our principal enjoyed the media attention. He did. Um, It was on that Wednesday, he gave me a card from somebody from um, NPR, which is our Minnesota Public Radio, and said, hey, you need to call them and tell them what happened. And I'm just thinking, okay, you know what? Fuck you. (laughs) So, I mean, but I was just so numb. And um, I should say on a personal note, my sister is a therapist. So, therefore, I immediately the next day after the shooting went to my primary care doctor And she immediately, I think within a week, I was in a therapy, in therapy. Now, that was my own personal, which was good. Um, What they provided to me was a shit show. Uh, They brought in from the U.S. Army or people like that, uh, trauma counselors. The reason that was hard. um, They were only there for a few weeks. And there's so many students. And so many times I had to go in and they was like, oh, you're that teacher. Can you tell us what happened? And there was no bonding. So I would go in and kind of tell what happened. Then they would say, okay, good. We can use this to help some of your students. So then some of my students would go in. And then, you know, by the time they wanted to go back in and talk, it was a new counselor. And so then it was like, Missy, can you come back in and tell your story again? And so that is why a lot of my students quit therapy right away because they told me they're like Dodds it's too much it's too much so while I appreciated the thought it was not helpful um the other thing that was not helpful was when all the survive uh, well there was a survivor I don't even remember who it was um it was from Columbine I know they meant well and I think my students appreciated it but they were up as soon as it happened and um probably it was more of a personal reason because um I was getting ready to talk at an open mic thing and our principal said Missy wait no let this person talk and it was the Columbine person and um I think it meant a lot to my students but for me personally it was just kind of irritating that other people were there because it was like nope this is us not and then you have the whole media thing um I was lucky we had just moved and so the phone book had my other address in it. Um, my other friend, he, he, his address was published and they would show, the media would just show up at his house with, and he had little kids. Um, uh, that it just, and then they went back to school, but I do know now that was great for my kids uh, in talking to them in the aftermath, it is so good that they opened the school back up at like, I think three weeks, four weeks. For me personally, I never wanted to go back. Um, they had lots and lots of teacher faculty meetings. Um, they were horrible. Um, I, um, 
I got a note from my therapist that I don't have to go <laughs> uh, because it just fueled anger. And they brought in people uh, just listening to some of my friends, but they brought in people and they were like, oh, let's sit in a circle and let's talk about your, you know, doing what, no offense to counselors, it is needed. I have been in therapy for 16 and a half years. I still currently am in therapy. It is needed, but it's um, those afternoons because school just went a half day till the end of the year. They needed to let those teachers go home to sleep. Um, forcing teachers to be there, forcing teachers to, um, talk about their feelings. Um, there was a lot of anger because you don't know who to blame because the rumors were horrible. So it's like, well, maybe it was so-and-so's fault. Maybe they knew he was drawn. You know what I mean? There was a lot of kind of catty stuff going on and, um, that was bad. Um, so that went on. We had graduation as normal. Um, famous day I can just name people right because I mean I'll whatever them out. yeah uh well I mean that's I mean I don't care if they're transcribed I don't care I mean it's the truth uh famous Dave you know famous Dave's barbecue or whatever <clears throat> he's Native American he wanted to come talk to our senior class well I was senior class sponsor along with uh my daughter's current PE teacher <laughs> um Anyway, we were senior class sponsors together and so we met with the senior class and they were like no we don't want anything to be about the shooting and I'm like, fair enough, you know, that that's fine. And so, like, we got in trouble with the admin because he said, well, famous Dave wants to come and speak and has volunteered. And we're like, well, the kids don't want that. And then, like, he yelled at us and got mad at us because he said, well, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. And I'm like, no, the kids don't want it. it it's, you know, um, we usually started in ninth grade with about 90 to 100 kids per grade. We graduated 30 on average. So that kind of gives you a, 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 a spill there. Um, so, um, that was not helpful. There were lots of meetings. Like, I mean, one person came up and told me not to worry that they're going to get me new furniture for my classroom. Um, <laughs> I was like, yeah, cause that's a concern. Uh, then they wanted to redesign the building. It was a brand new building just opened that year. Um, comments made like, oh, the kids in the culture room were protected. And I'm like, fuck you. So my kids weren't, you know, uh, there was a lot of that. Uh, everybody wanted to say something and they just made it worse. I had anger. I had tons of anger, I think. And, um, one day I went to a meeting and where they were redesigning how they were going to redesign the building. I disagreed. Um, I was so mad. I came home and I ripped up all my carpet in my house. I mean, we needed a new flooring, but, um, you know, I just, my husband came home and I had moved all the living room furniture and ripped up all the carpet. <laughs> you save, save some money there. Um, it did. So I want to kind of ask, and I know that details might be a little fuzzy and I'm not necessarily, I don't want to pin you down to any time frames. I guess there's a couple things I'm picking up there. Um, from how you're describing it, it seems like a lot of the focus was on the students and you were sort of an afterthought. Is that like, there, there was? is that a, a fair kind of takeaway? Yes. Yes, that's a fair takeaway. They did not take care of the staff. I don't think they took care of the students either. Um, they didn't know what to do. So they hid behind their culture. Can you describe that culture a little bit and how that kind of came into play? Yeah, because what irritated me, and I am a spiritual person, and they are too, and that's fine. Um but sometimes you got to have real help, like from trained professionals. And so what they did is they shut it down and did not let anybody um, that is a professional in the area help. Um, they, you know, said, um, you know, you can just go do this or go do that. And that will keep the spirits away and you'll be fine. And that's not how it has turned out to be at all. Um, I think that's one thing that really irritated me 
is instead of addressing the issues, calling a, you know, a spade a spade, they hid behind their culture. And it was, and it was,